Welcome back to Emily's Paper Caper. I want to do a flip through of Junk Journal July. This was an open collaboration hosted by Meg Journals in collaboration with Get Messy Art Journal. And each day in July, we had prompts we were working with. I've written them down here. I'll also link down in the description to more information and links to our host channels. There's also some information in my video description here about this journal and what I used for the cover and to bind it. This is just a little extra pocket in the front where I put things that I might use on different days and then I always kept the prompts there. The uh, front page here I just marked that I started filling this journal on July 1st of 2023. Our day one prompt was good vibes. I did a little journaling here and I had a little pocket card that said good vibes and I used some photos of my favorite flower which is the hibiscus. Day two was pop of color. So I just used some very bright strips of paper. Day three was negative space. So I use the negatives from paper punches to create some flowers with leaves. Day four was tickets and tags. So I just enjoyed collaging a variety of tickets and tags on this two page spread. On the fifth, our prompt was fold out. So I created a little interactive element just for something fun and different. I took a six by six piece of paper and made something that would fold out. Day six was layers on layers. So I just took some random things, paper scraps and stickers, and this is from a product package and just layered on and collaged. Day seven was framed. So I framed a couple of recent photos of our family. Day eight was brown paper. So I used some different brown papers from my stash. This is a little altered card and I journaled on the back about the prompt. Day nine was balance. I just stamped the word balance over and over. I balanced three stamped images of flowers there. Stripped back was our, was our prompt for day 10. And I got into my scrap bin and just used a bunch of different paper strips. Day 11 was paper samples. So I had a lot of fun with this one. And I have a process video on this page. I just got into that scrap bin and used lots of different papers. Day 12, the prompt was gratitude. I did some journaling here to tell about how in November I do a gratitude journal. Day 13 was details. So I had this cute note to self pocket card and then I added words for the phrase, the devil is in the details. Day 14 was torn and I had fun creating this teddy bear with torn strips of paper. Tucked away was the day 15 prompt and I've just created a little tuck spot here. And I added umbrellas because on the back of this one, I said, save for a rainy day. Tuck it away for a rainy day. Day 16, maximalism. So I got into my stash of completed twinchies and just collaged them on this page. These particular twinchies had lots of layers on them, so 
uh, adding a lot of them to this page made me think of maximalism. Day 18 was favorite supply, and I said paper scraps and paper punches are a favorite supply, so I punched balloons out of a bunch of different paper scraps, and that was fun. Another supply I like a lot are sequins, and I've added some sequins across this page. Pause was the day 17 prompt, so I made a pause button. Day 19, interactive. I just created a bunch of folded items on the page, some little folded hearts, and I put little stickers inside that people could discover. This was a lot of fun. Day 20 is letter to self, and I used some stickers to write a letter to myself. Good things are coming. Taking care of yourself is productive. You are full of magic. Day 20, the prompt was pockets. So I created a page with lots of pockets. First, I have a pocket made out of a coffee cup holder. There's a tag in there. And this pocket card creates a pocket. And then there's even a pocket on this pocket. So that, that was a fun, fun page to add lots of pockets. Day 23, the prompt was overlap. I just overlapped a lot of different ephemera and stickers here. These pages are a little out of order, but that's okay. The prompt for day 21 was contrast. So I got some paint out and had a bit of a play. I really like the contrasting color combination of blue, green, and orange, red. So I tried to create that on this page. There's a process video for this page as well. Day 24, the prompt was very vintage. So I dug into my junk journal scraps and found some vintage children's book images and added them to the pages. Day 25 was photo. So I featured a recent photo of my family flying a drone. Cozy was the prop for day 26. Something that makes me feel cozy is pleasant memories. And so I just did a little journal spot and found a card that says collect beautiful memories. Day 27, the prompt was postcard. And this is a postcard that my mom sent to my daughters when she took a trip to Paris. And this trip was many years ago, but I've saved the postcard and now it's in this journal to enjoy. Upcycled was the prompt for day 28. I've upcycled a card from an old Monopoly game and then I've tucked in a little book that a friend made for me and she upcycled some old notebook paper in there. So I thought that was good for upcycled. Playlist was the prompt for day 29. And I know playlist means music to lots of people, but I decided to make a list of paper craft supplies that I like to play with. Paper scraps, punches, rubber stamps, washi tape, stencils, and stickers. That was, that was a fun playlist. <laughs> Day 30, the prompt was in the garden. So I just created a picture of some flowers and butterflies and added a stick, some stickers as well. So that was fun. I've made a note here that even though this book is already over full, that I will probably continue filling it when the junk journal January prompts begin. I've got a lot of pages left. And the final prompt for July, day 31 was nostalgia. I took a picture from an old children's book. Um, these are favorites of mine and I like to add these pretty illustrations to my pages. Here's another one here of a cute bunny. So as you can see, it is over full, it's stuffed, but I think this 
these back pages will be great to fill when it's time for Junk Journal January. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed my flip through. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting.